All right, so for today, we'll be going hybridization and finding each element in its uh, structure, the hybridization for it. So, for example, if we have two carbons and we have a double bond in the middle attached to a hydrogen, right? We got two hydrogens. And you were asked to to know what is the hybridization for this first carbon and also the second carbon, right? So this is where the groups and hybridization come into place, right? So if you have one group, meaning one bond, it's an S. If you have two groups, it means you have SP. If you have three groups, it's SP2. If you're having four groups, it's SP3. So what this is mean, it means that if you look at the first carbon, right? First carbon. It's connected to how many bonds? So we got we got one, two, and three. All right. So that's three bonds. Three bonds is right here. So it's three bonds, three groups, which will be sp two, right? So this is sp two right here for this carbon. Now, if you look at the second carbon and determine this hybridization, we know it also has one, two, three, three groups, three groups is sp2 hybridization. So we also know that this carbon is also sp2, right? So groups meaning that how many um, bonds it has, right? So we don't count individually, but we count as a whole, if it's connected to it as a whole, all right? So let's go to the next problem here. Say we have this example right here, right? Right, and we were told to know what is the hybridization for this oxygen right here, this oxygen right here. What is the hybridization for it? So we count how many bonds it has, right? So lone pairs count as one bond as well. So that's one group. So it's one, two, three. So again, it has three bonds, so three groups, meaning it's sp2 hybridization orbital, right? So this is sp2. Now, for this carbon right here, the middle carbon, how many bonds is it connected to? So we know carbon can only have four bonds in total, so there's two right here and then two right here, but it counts as one, so one and then two. So it's two, two groups, meaning this is sp hybridization orbital. So this carbon right here is sp, sp. Now finally for this last oxygen over here, it's connected to one bond, two bonds, three bonds, right? So three groups, which is sp2. So sp2 right here, okay? okay. Let's do another example. Okay, say I have this structure right here. Right. And we were to determine the hybridization for it. Um, so let's, let's go with the, uh, the carbon first, right? So this carbon right here has how many uh, groups to it? So one group it has two groups right here. So two groups meaning it is sp precisely. So this carbon right here is sp. Now for this oxygen, we have one, we have two. That is also 
SP for it. And so we do it. And it will be SP over here, I believe. Yes. All right. Let's go back. Let's do another example. Now, say we have this example right here. Oxygen with two lone pairs, a double bond to carbon, and connected to a hydrogen, two hydrogens. All right. All right. So let's start off with carbon right down the middle. This carbon is connected to what? It's connected to one, two, and three. Three groups, right? Three groups. So that's sp2. Okay. So this carbon right here is sp2. Now, what about this oxygen over here? Well, it has it's one, two, and three. It's connected to three groups. It's also sp2. sp2. Okay. Let's do another example. Say we have this, we have water, right? Structure for water. All right, so we want to determine what's the hybridization for this oxygen. And so what would we do? We count how many groups it's connected to. So we got one group over here, two, three and four you got four groups connected to it so it's four groups which is sp3 so this oxygen is sp sp3 sp3 now let's see these hydrogens i mean most for the most part your professor doesn't have to tell you doesn't want you to know the hydrogen because it's very simple but if we had to do it well, we see that it's connected to only one group, right? Both hydrogen is so. So if this hydrogen is connected to one group, the one group right here would just be S. Hybridization for this hydrogen would be S, right? Now, if you looked at the other hydrogen on the right side, we see that it's also connected to only one group. And so for this hybridization, for this hydrogen on the right side, it would be S as well. All right, guys, um, I hope that made sense. Um, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what other subjects, topics I do about the video. Thank you.